The topic that stuck out to me the most in chapter four was about body image. Um, I thought this was very interesting um, from a psychology perspective to learn about it that way um, and how a lot of kids as their bodies are changing, they begin to feel insecure and it's based on society around them and like the cultural norms. And I think it's sad that so many kids are worried about, you know, how their bodies measure up to those around them. And um, I think that because this topic isn't talked about very often, that a lot of times kids don't know who to talk to about it and this is when you know that excessive concern over body image can lead to disordered eating and um this topic is important to me personally because i've been through it and i struggled with eating disorders for um my entire high school career so although it came later then um, when I first hit puberty, um, it was still something that I struggled with. And I think body image is something that so many people struggle with, but there's not a lot of talk about it. And if there is talk about it, it's very personal, hush hush. Um, and I do think that's sad. And I think it should be talked about more. And to me, as far as being in the field of educational psychology and just educational education in general, I think it's important to discuss because so many kids have these feelings and a lot of them probably don't know what that feeling is. So I think that talking about it um, and being vulnerable and um, opening up about stuff like that will give students a safe space to be like, hey, you know, this is something that I'm struggling with or I didn't know that's what that was um, because I think that a lot of the issue is kids don't take health classes until way later on. I didn't personally take a health class until I think seventh grade in middle school. So I didn't really, I didn't know about these things and I didn't know that having a negative image of myself was out of the norm or it was something to be worried about. And I think that the reading made a very valid point about it having to do with societal norms because especially in an age where social media is so prevalent, it's very easy to get down on yourself and compare yourself to others and start to feel bad about it. And then it's no longer, you know, a physical development issue. It's a psychological issue because you are you know, you have a negative outlook on yourself and that is not a very fun thing to feel. And it can lead to a lot of confusion and it can lead to eating disorders and